Happy Wednesday. So, if the government said, hey, you gotta bow down to Frankie, no. or you're gonna get in trouble. Nope. Would you do it? Let's talk about that. Bow down to me. I really like that. Yeah. yeah. Good morning. Didn't I just say that? You did. Okay. I still think you're beautiful people. The Bible even says everything's beautiful in its time. So there you go. Ecclesiastes. Read that book. It's a really good book. Especially the last two verses. Anyway, we're in the book of Esther, and we've progressed in the story where um, Queen Vashti kicked out, got kicked out. Esther um, gets in with a beauty pageant. And um, she wins, and now Xerxes is like head over heels for her. And now Haman gets second in command. The bad guy. Well, yeah, we find out he's the bad guy. But as, well, as of right now, he gets second in command. And King Xerxes has, oh, these are all their Greek names, okay? They, they did have um, Philistine's name, I mean, uh, Anyway, other names were all really hard to pronounce, so we got the Greek names. So anyway, so Haman uh, gets uh, elevated to second in command, and he has this... Okay, when you get in second of command, say you're the vice president, okay? You can either be humble and serve the president and serve the country, or you can turn it into pride and think you're all that in a bag of chips. And then... Pride comes before what? The fall. The fall. Okay, we all knew this. Um, if your pride gets the best of you, you will fall. Now, it might not be today or tomorrow or a couple months or a couple years, but you will eventually fall if you don't turn around and repent and be humble. So, here's Haman getting elevated. And there's an edict by the king or a, a command. It says this, all the royal officials at the king's gate knelt down and paid honor to Haman. For the king had commanded this concerning him. Wow. I love the buts of the Bible. Okay, but this this really like goes in the face of all things. Ha <laughs> ha, face in the butt. Anyway. Wow. But Mordecai would not kneel down or pay him honor. Uh-oh. Now the king edict <clears throat> at that time could not be reversed. Once they wrote it down. It was done, okay? And so once the king had an edict or a command and he wrote it down, it would not be changed, even if it was wrong. And so here's- What kind of king makes it that they bowed down to somebody else? Good question. Sorry. Remember, King Xerxes was not a Jew or a God-fearing person. He just- And so he just leveled him up. <laughs> he just got leveled up. And everybody needed to bow down to him. So here's Mordecai. Nope. Now, why would Mordecai not bow down and give him honor? Well, first of all, he was a Jew. Second of all, he knew the law. Okay? What's, what was the first commandment of the Ten Commandments? Don't have any other gods. Don't have any other gods before me. Okay? And uh, so, if you pay honor or, or you're bowing down, that is considered that you're putting that person higher uh, than everybody else. Okay? And so the only one higher than everybody else is God. There is no one higher. And everybody else is the same. We're all on the same plane, and here's God, and everybody else is here. There's not one person higher than the other. Actually, Christianity would be reversed that we're actually servants of the people that are still on this plane. Okay, actually, we're lower than the people that are here because we're supposed to be serving them until they come and, and they're humbled and they get to the bottom and serve. So here's Haman. Mordecai said no. What do you think is going to happen to Mordecai? Well, we'll find out. But my point is, we cannot elevate people higher than God. We just can't. It's it's as a Christian, there is n that's a no no, okay? Because God is all wisdom, all powerful, all knowing, all loving, and He is the one we follow, not humans. So in any country, in any civilization, in any culture, really God is the king. And I don't care what the government does. No, I do a little bit because I'm in America, but 
in all reality, the president is not my leader. My leader is God. And so I'm not going to bow down to any leader. I'm not going to bow down to any cultural things because God is higher and God is better and God is merciful and God is graceful and, and awesome and powerful. And he created us, and I'm not going to bow down to something he created. And so Mordecai had the same attitude. So my challenge for your day is, what are you bowing down to? What are you putting before God? Stop it and put God first, everybody else second, and yourself last. Make sure you serve people. I love you. Jesus loves you too. You have a great Wednesday. Easter's coming up. Palm Sunday this Sunday, 11 o'clock a.m. Love you. Bye. Ooh, what are your palms doing?